You are welcome to today's class. We will be having physical and health education as our subject. And our topic of discussion is physical fitness. I am Oyewale Mubarak Adeni. Now, the course outline. Under the topic today, we'll be discussing what is physical fitness, the components of physical fitness, exercise, and the benefits of exercise. Our objectives at the end of today's class, you should be able to define physical fitness, list and explain the components of physical fitness, define exercise, and lastly, list and explain the benefits of exercise. Now, what do we understand by physical fitness? What is physical fitness? By definition, physical fitness is a measure of the body's ability to function effectively in work and leisure activities, to be healthy, to resist hypokinetic disease, and to meet emergency situations. The ability of the body to do daily activities without becoming tired, without having sort of breathe or sore. Physical fitness has components, and the components of physical fitness include number one. Muscular endurance, which is the ability of a muscle or group of muscles to sustain repeated contractions against a resistance for an extended period of time. The ability to use group of muscles over and over without becoming tired and the things that makes Muscular endurance, we have planking, walking lungs, push up, sit up, call up, among others. Number two, we have muscular strength, which is the amount of force muscles can exert against some form of resistance in a single effort. The size of muscle fibers and the ability of the nerves to activate muscle fiber it is the force, the amount of force muscles produced in a single effort. In the gym, a single repetition at a given weight is an example of muscular strength. Every weight lifting, pull-ups, among others, and the things that makes all a muscular strength. Number three, cardiorespiratory endurance. The ability of the heart and lungs to work efficiently during physical activities. The ability of the heart, the lungs, the internal organs to adapt with the activities at that particular moment, the activities like running, walking, biking, swimming, and number four, flexibility. Flexibility is the ability to move joints effectively through a complete range of motion. Ability to use our joints easily, which involve muscles, tendons, and ligaments, seat and reach test. Stretching exercise to lengthen the muscles is an example of flexibility. 
Number five, body composition, which is the ratio of weight to fat to the weight of the bones in your body. Push up overhead lungs are those things that make a body composition. And lastly, we have speed, which is the ability to move body or part of the body quickly. Now, how do we maintain physical fitness? We can maintain our physical fitness with two things. Number one is our diet, the food we eat, what we consume. And number two is exercise. Today, we'll be talking more on exercise. What is exercise? Exercise is the ability that maintain or improve your physical fitness. The movement of the body in a systematic way is what we call exercise. And exercise has a benefit. Under these, the benefits are grouped into three, which, inf which includes physical benefits, mental or emotional benefits, and social benefits. Under physical benefits, we have strong, more flexible. It is your body will be strong enough. You will be strong enough and be flexible to move any joints of the body or muscle of the body to any length. Number two, better working heart and lungs. Your heart, the lungs, they will be able to function effectively. Number three, we have bone fat. Yes, fat, the accumulation of excess fat in the body. If you want to reduce the accumulation of excess fat, engage in exercise. Our Last time when we were discussing about non-communicable disease, we talked about obesity, that is accumulation of fat in the body. How do we control it? It's through exercise. Number four, we have better coordination. Number five, prevent disease. Yes, exercise helps in preventing non-communicable disease like cardiovascular disease, obesity, diabetes, heart attack, and to mental and emotional benefit. Number one, it releases endorphins. That is the chemical that makes you feel happy, that makes you feel calm that makes you feel awake number two improve self-esteem number three it's improve blood flow to your brain number four think more clearly number five it relieves tension and number six it reduces stress and it make you feel more awake. And to social benefits, we have number one, you meet new people, you meet friends. Because people say, in other says, the birds of the same feather flocks together. Teamwork. We'll be able to have people that will work with you. Surrounded by people who influence you in a good way. Yes. 
people that will be around you will be people that will always advise you what are the things that you need to maintain your physical fitness how do we do this how do we move the body like this if you want to do push up this is the way you do it if you want to carry heavy weight lift this is how you do it they will uh, they will put someone through the the correct way of doing things and lastly people cheer for you people rely on you because they know that you are physically fit you are strong and lastly support system in your team here will be end it will be ending our discussion but before we go here is our assignment number one what is physical fitness number two what are the components of physical fitness number three what are the benefits of exercise all the assignments to be submitted through the email training at educom.ng thanks